Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino on his lonesome again, looking at the last beer from Half Hours on Earth. I currently have, uh, I should have another package coming either uh, next week or the week after. I think there's five beers in the package right now. I'll try to wait till I get to at least ten to, to ship it. Anyway, this is Half Hour on Earth's, and I only buy beers I haven't had before. And there are a lot of beers from Half Hours on Earth I love, but... Uh, Really, this is what I like doing. I like drinking new beers. So, my my small, minuscule beer allowance goes to new beers. Uh, this is Half Hours on Earth's barrel-fermented version of Obscured by Clouds, which is a tart farmhouse brown ale at 5... Is that 5? Yeah, that's 5% alcohol by volume. So, uh, Obscured by Clouds is one of the beers I did not like by uh, Half Hours on Earth. I didn't think that the sour brown worked together very well. Um, but a barrel fermented version, maybe it'll add a little more? I don't know. Uh, what do we have on here? Um, bottled on the 17th, no sorry, the 27th of November of 2016. Today is the 24th of January 2017. So we're looking at just under two months old. Gusher, gusher, gusher! Damn it, Kyle, your beer gushed on me. Your beer gushed. Uh, look, it's still dripping. It's like me the first time I saw a woman naked. It's deep mahogany brown, the head is slightly, uh, slightly mocha-ish. Lots of snap, crackle, pop. Ugh. Shirt clean. That's right, the shirt clean. I just don't want my table to be covered in beer right now. Because it's going to fall on my crotch. And that's, that's not a good thing. My wife doesn't like beer. I can't have beer on my crotch. She just gave birth like a week ago. It doesn't matter if she likes my crotch right now or not. She's going to stay away from it. Uh, okay. So, let's give it a sniffy. Shit, there's beer on the bottom of this glass, too. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, that's right. I'm just keeping the shirt on. I'll take it off when I get off film. Off film, off camera. Just tart lemon and lime scent out of the glass. It's a lemon, lots of lime, and a little bit of oaky tannic scent, uh, much like a tongue depressor or a wooden coffee stir stick. Mm, the same, basically, um, a tannic scent as well as uh, just a tart lemon lime, and a little bit of. A little bit of like a roasty note coming out of the bottle. Let's try it. Cheers. This reminds me of, um, of D9's Ezekiel Dark Sour in that it's very tart it really is uh, the tart is kinda just tart uh, but at the same time there's some complexity in it because there is a little bit of a roasty sensation there is a little bit of a of a vanilla sensation there's a little bit of a tannic sensation all coming from the wood most likely and then there's that roastiness ah sorry that tartness and then there's a uh, again probably coming from the barrel this this drying drying oaky clovey type of finish. I don't remember what the brown was fully like except that I, I kind of remember it just being sour to be sour. I don't remember it having. There may have been one or two little bits of uh, uh there I think there was a little bit of a nuttiness. I got to watch the video again. 
trying to remember the original other than me not liking it. I think there was like a little nuttiness and then um, and then just sour, and I didn't like the way it combined. Where this is giving off a drying sensation, those uh, those woody and uh, and tannic sensations, a little bit of sweetness with the vanilla, and then the tart, and a little bit of roastiness, and all that combined actually makes this a fairly complex, easy drinking beer. And it's five percent alcohol, so if you do like this, you could put a whole bunch of them behind you. Uh, do I think it's the greatest souring ever? No, it, it does kind of come off slightly acidic, slightly vinegary, uh, not overly. It's not the, it's not the uh, the hair perm chemical type of scent or taste. Uh, just just kind of kind of um, uh, what's the best way to put it? Um, you know when you have a barrel aged beer, you get a barrel aged beer and you've aged it and you open it because you want to drink it and it's just starting to turn into that vinegary taste that you can get from a barrel aged beer because of the uh, bacteria and stuff that may be in that barrel that that's kind of like what it is like um uh, my first stormy monday from bush pilot uh, i bought like six bottles of it and i aged three bottles and i opened one of them recently and it was nothing but vinegar and it made me angry uh... so the other ones are probably going to be garbage too um, but I'll still try them. But it, that that type of thing, like when it actually just sours on you. But mixing it with those tannic flavors, that roasty flavor, that vanilla, uh, mixing it with all that it actually changes the beer from just being sour to be sour to being fairly complex, a medium body, uh, medium carbonation, easy drinking. As I said, 5% alcohol, so if you really like it, you can put back a bunch of them. Um, but if you like your sours to only be like fruit flavored sours, probably not really for you. If you like your sours having just that touch of acidity and just that touch of vinegariness, it's probably a great one for you. Kyle hit a home run again, other than the fact that it blew up on me. Out of 10 on this, I would give it a, well, I shouldn't say he hit a home run. Maybe he hit a, uh, um, I don't know, baseball terms. Where, where's Mark from left field when I need him? A double play? No, that's when you get two people out. Uh, he, he made it to second base. He made it to second base, I'll say. Yeah, yeah, I'll get, no, you know, almost made it to third base. Almost made it to third base, got cut off by the shortstop. Oh, is that, is there a shortstop? I don't fucking watch baseball, I'm blind. Um, I'm going to give this a 7.75 out of 10. I actually enjoy it. I could buy it again. I'd enjoy it more than I enjoyed the original Obscured by Clouds, and that's really the only thing that matters to me. And Kyle does some great beer. Even the beer he makes that I don't like is fucking good beer. So thank you very much for making this brew. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. I'm going to drink the rest of this while I play uh, Battlefield 1 with uh, In the Basement. Bye, guys.